Hello and welcome. My name is Peter Watkins and I work as a senior lean coach at the Lean Enterprise Academy. One of the most important pieces of research at the Lean Enterprise Academy we have conducted is the understanding of how the best lean organisations develop the, their people capability. We have summarised the findings into six critical elements. They align their capability development to the current and future work to be done to meet their organisational and customer purpose. Their capability development is based on need and is pulled, not pushed. They realise that skill cannot be developed in a classroom alone. Theory is important, but lean is a practice-led activity. They develop a plan for every person rather than focusing on a selected few people. They develop capability through line management via coaching from capable managers rather than employing internal or external experts. They have processes that develop skills rather than processes that just create training. When Jim Womack and Dan Jones created their non-for-profit organisations, the Lean Enterprise Institute and the Lean Enterprise Academy, they did so to spread the use of lean thinking and practice. Jim Womack explains that he wanted to write down the Toyota production system in a usable form so that others would be inspired to try to become the Toyota of their industry. It was a noble initiative that produced some of the best how-to workbooks on lean. We also developed workshops, many aligned to the content of existing or soon to be released publications. These certainly provided awareness of the techniques of lean, basic understanding and provided discussion around the challenges of using such methods. But capability cannot be developed in a classroom alone. The classroom is for awareness and basic understanding. One of our countermeasures was to conduct action research with organisations to truly develop capability for people to be able to do and improve themselves. Developing capability through workbooks, workshops and coaching is one that has been honed over several years. However, each time we looked at our activities and compared them to our purpose, we were missing an opportunity. The world of work has changed considerably since the late 1990s when the first workbook, Learning to See, was published. Then the internet was in its infancy. Knowledge was disseminated through books and articles, talks and visits. It wasn't found via Google or YouTube search. Remaining relevant, particularly for new generations of managers that have access to new ways of gathering knowledge is a major challenge. To close the gap, we've developed our Lean Learning Journey process. The underlying thinking used is about supporting individuals and organisations to learn to do lean themselves, become self-reliant. The learning process consists of two four-step processes based on PDCA and as shown in the screen here. The first focuses on the level of capability the learner needs, from knowledge, through understanding, being capable and being able to teach and coach others. The second process, also consisting of four steps, is the capability development process itself. This starts off with preparing the learner, presenting the learning topic, trying out the learning topic and follow up. To help you learn and apply lean thinking to your work, we are compiling free and paid resources into a lean learning management system. We are putting key subject materials in one place for all of our community. We want to reduce your non-value added search time, providing the right information at the right time at the right place, so you and your team members can develop a thorough knowledge of lean thinking and practice. By using a guided learning process and putting together the vital few articles, thought pieces and handy hints, we hope to encourage the lean community to become effective learners. This level one course for practical problem solving is the first of our free learning material. It's aimed at giving you some basic awareness and information about the subject. For those wanting to develop their capability to the next level and have a deeper understanding and also try out practical problem solving method, then the level two course is now also available at a small paid fee. We chose practical problem solving as our initial learning subject and it's fundamentally number one lean skill that all lean thinkers need. The development of our lean learning platform will continue in two dimensions. We will add more online learning materials in the form of subject areas to the lean learning journey, and we will add processes to enhance the development of capability. We've collected feedback from our users and we've been developing the platform. The materials benefit both individuals and organizations. 
Individuals have told us how comprehensive the material is. They like the flexibility of learning at their own pace. They like the wide range of learning styles on the, learning, on the Lean Learning platform. Internal teams have told us how the materials help them reduce their training time and use it to coach and help them create more value in their organizations. The ultimate goal for an organization and individuals is to develop a pathway to learn lean or enhance their current learning themselves. Think of learning as a continuous process rather than an event driven activity or just training. It takes us closer to our purpose of providing lean learning better, faster and cheaper. Now read the course intro and notes and follow the instructions to begin your own lean learning journey. Thank you.